Hey everybody, welcome to Joke and Drums. I'm John Kinsting, and today we've got part three of my series, The Talking Hi-Hat. Now before we get into it, um, I'm a firm believer of learning from the, uh, the pioneers and the experts of the past. In the case of the hi-hat, last time I mentioned Buddy Rich, um, this time I'm going to mention a name you may not have heard of. It's a, a fellow named uh, Max Roach. Max Roach did a lot of work with the hi-hat. And if you search YouTube for Max Roach, R-O-A-C-H, and hi-hat, you'll get some of the videos he's done. There's one entitled uh, Mr. Hi-Hat. Uh, very interesting. So enjoy that. So continuing on, we have part three. And today, the title of uh, part three is The Splashy Foot. So here we have a hi-hat, and I'm now going to demonstrate how you execute a splashy foot technique. So we put our foot on the footboard. Notice that the symbols are distanced appropriately. And instead of the standard movement of the hi-hat where you just press down, and you get the resultant chick sound. In this particular case, we're going to flick the foot very quickly, and here we go. Again, and again. Notice here the movement of the left foot, or the hi hat foot, is very quick and it's just a little pulse and then you let go. The key is the fact that you have to let go in order to let the allow the uh, hi-hat symbols to ring. So for this first pattern let's just look at a, a simple uh, swing pattern. Typical Now, in this pattern, in this pattern, you'll notice that the hi hat is just simply playing an ostinato thing, means continual, uh, on two and four. Um, I came across this variant of this pattern, it's still a swing pattern, but instead of playing two and four uh, on the old Miles Davis quintet recordings. Uh, I've heard the drummers play a three against two pattern, and it's like this. I'll start standard, and then I'll drop into the three against two. Okay, you see at the end where I finished with the dramatic foot splash. For this next pattern, I'm treating the hi-hat as though it were equally one of my four limbs. And I'm playing basically a 16th note pattern, interspersing the hi-hat at various points. Sounds like this. So for this next pattern, it's a little bit different. What I'm going to be doing is playing the bead of the stick on the top hi-hat cymbal and mixing that together with the foot clicks and the foot splashes. Okay. Thank you. 